So finally, in this video, we're gonna create our message sending API for one-on-one -on -one chat as well as the group chat. So if you're not yet following this playlist from the beginning, click the link in the description for a complete playlist. So here I've opened our project folder and I'm gonna go inside of our backend and let's first start our backend. All right, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go inside of the server.js and I'm gonna add another route for our messages. So I'm gonna say slash API slash message. And I'm gonna name the routes as message routes. So let's create the message routes file inside of our routes. So I'm gonna say message routes dot JS. Now I'm gonna import express and create the router. Now below this, I'm gonna create the two routes that we are going to create in this video. So the first route will be for sending the message and the second route will be to fetch all of the message in a particular chat. So I'm gonna say router dot route and this is going to be the slash route and I'm gonna say post, I'm gonna post a new message and obviously this is going to be protected I want the user to be logged in to, to be able to access this route. So protect middleware and I'm gonna say send message controller. All right, so let me comment this out for now. And the other route is going to be the chat. I'm gonna say colon chat ID. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fetch one single, fetch all of the message for one single chat. And this is just going to be the get request. Um, but this is also going to be protected and I'm going to say all messages. I'm going to comment this out for now and just export our router. So module.exports router. Let's import this in our server.js file. So I'm going to duplicate one of these routes and control D paste. Okay, there we go. Just like that. Still no error in the console. That means everything is working fine. So let's go on and create our first controller that is for sending the messages. So I'm going to uncomment it now and let's create a new file inside of the controllers for message controllers.js. So message controllers.js. Cool. Now I'm going to create the controller const send message. And just like usual, we're gonna wrap this in the async handler. Express async handler. Now inside of this, we have an async function obviously, and we're gonna take a request, comma response, and let's export this controller as well. So module dot exports send message. Let's import it right here, just like that. Cool. Now let's start building this controller. So what are all the things that are going to be required to send a message? So the first thing will be the chat ID on which chat we are supposed to send the message. Second will be the actual message itself. And the third will who is the sender of the message. Okay, so, so the sender of the message, will we will get it with the help of our middleware. So the logged in user. But for the other two things, I'm gonna take them from our body. So request dot body so the other two things are content comma chat id cool now i'm gonna do a little validation over here i'm gonna check if content or chat id doesn't exist so i'm gonna say invalid data passed into the request and just return an error otherwise we're gonna create a new message by sending where new message equals inside of this object. So those three things. So first thing will be the sender. Sender will be request dot user dot underscore ID, the user's ID, logged in user's ID. And then the second thing will be the content and then the chat ID. So content will be content and chat will be the chat ID. So if I go on inside of our messages model, you're gonna see we have sender, content, and the chat. So all of these three things we're, we're using over here. 
So cool, we have created our new message. Now what we're gonna do inside of our try catch, we're gonna query our database. So let me close this. So I'm gonna say where message equals await message. So the message is going to be our mo message model. So let me import it real quick. Const message equals require models slash message model. Cool. So it's going to be await message dot create. And I'm going to pass this new message to this thing. Just like that. Now inside of it, what I'm going to do is, so this new message has all of these three, uh, all of these things, right? Sender, content, and chat. So I'm going to populate the sender and our message. And also we're going to populate the users array inside of the chat ID. That is, so each chat has a bunch of user IDs, right? So we're going to populate them as well and create the whole object there. So let me just show you. Now, whatever that we got inside of this message, I'm going to say message. So we're going to populate the content inside of this message. So we're going to use exec populate. So let me show you. So await message. So we're going to use this message variable dot populate. So normally what we're trying to populate is trying to populate sender. And what are we going to populate the name and the pick. So we are supposed to populate the center with name and the pick. And since this is not di directly being populated, so if this was directly getting populated inside of a query, we would have used just the populate. But we are populating the instance of the mongoose class. So I'm gonna have to say dot exec populate. Just like that. Now, similarly, I'm going to populate the chat as well. So I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm going to again use the same variable and message dot populate chat. And I'm going to take everything that is inside of the chat object. Okay. Now the third thing that we want to populate is this. So inside of a chat. So in chat model, each chat has this list of users. So we want to populate each of the user. So then after this, I'm going to say message await and I'm going to take the user object now I mean user model so user model uh, okay it's imported user dot populate populate message and I'm going to pass this message variable and so what are we going to populate inside of this object I'm going to say path which is chat dot users. And we're going to take that is select name. Oops, pick and email. Cool. So that's all that this was our query that we are going to that we did over here. Now, finally, we're going to find by ID and update the chat with the latest message. So if you remember, every chat model, every chat object has this latest message, which we didn't have up until now. So whenever we send a message, that message is going to be the latest message. And when the next message comes, it's going to replace the previous latest message. So now I'm going to say await chat model. So chat model has been uh, imported cool dot find by ID and update. We're going to use this. And what do you want to update request dot body dot chat ID. So this chat ID is what we are looking to update and we are looking to update the latest message to message. Oops, message. Cool. Just like that. Now after it, we're just gonna response dot JSON whatever the message that we created just now, right? And now inside of our catch, we're just gonna handle the error by saying response.status 400 and throw new error, okay? So I guess this was pretty easy. Let's go on and try it out in the postman. All right, here's our postman. And now I'm gonna create a new folder inside of our project and I'm gonna say messages 
okay so this will contain messages api and i'm going to create a new request inside of it will be sla will be for sending a new message cool now what is the request so url let's take the url so slash api slash message let me recheck this yep slash message and inside of the message route we just have the slash and it's going to be a post request so post also it takes the authorization bearer token all right that's working now what do we need to send it so raw json we need to send both of these two things content and the chat id cool let's create the object content chat id all right so content is let's say hello and the chat id okay let's get the chat id so i'm gonna go to the chats and i'm gonna fetch the chats let's take any random chat okay let's take the first one so this is a group chat okay we will test the group chat as well as one-on-one -on -one chat so let's take the group chat id and sending a new message i'm gonna add the chat id everything looks good let's send it okay what do we got exec populate is not a function two thousand years later okay so i tried to debug what was going wrong with exec populate and turns out in the new version of mongoose they have i think removed exec populate by the time when i created this project mongoose supported it but now the newer version of the mongoose is not supporting exec populate so what i did was i simply removed it from over here so it was like this earlier so i removed it and everything seems to be working fine so if we go back and try to send another message hi how are you or just let me say how are you and send it you're gonna notice that it works it it says how are you okay so this is working that's cool now if we go back to our fetching chats and send this again you're gonna see that this chat now has a latest message object which contains our latest message which was how are you so awesome this api endpoint is working so let's go on and create our second endpoint which is for fetching all of the message for a particular chat so i'm going to take this all messages and i'm going to create a new function over here const all messages wrap this inside of a sync handler request comma response all right and i'm gonna export it and receive it here just like that cool now inside of the all messages this is going to be a simple controller so i'm just gonna say try catch and i'm just gonna fetch all of the message for a particular chat so i'm gonna say const messages equals await message dot find we're just gonna find all of the message we're gonna query our db with the chat id so chat will be request dot params dot chat id because why, why are we using request dot params because it's obviously inside of our parameters right so to access the params we use this just like i showed you at the start of our course okay so we got our object now we're going to populate it sender we're gonna populate the sender with name pick and email all right then we are going to populate the chat the chat cool now we're gonna send this response dot json send the messages what's going on here await oh, okay this is going to be an async function cool now inside of the catch i'm just gonna handle the errors so i'm just gonna say response dot status 400 and throw a new error cool so i guess this should be working fine let's go on and try this out inside the postman i'm going to create a new request fetch fetch all 
message oops fetch all messages for a chat and this is going to be a get request and url so slash api slash message and we are supposed to give the chat id so chat id let's take this particular chat id where is it yep this id so i'm gonna paste it here and this should give us all of the messages in this chat also we are supposed to give the authorization so bearer token cool let's send it and there we go we get all of the messages inside of this chat so first message wh why is this follow link coming over here i don't know some sort of glitch uh, okay the first message message was where is it so content hello first message was hello Oh, I, I guess I made this uh, request a couple of times. That's why this is happening. Never mind. So these are all the messages, and our last message was "How are you?" So let let me just test it out for another chat, just to be sure our API is working fine. So I'm gonna fetch all my chats, and let's take one of one on one chat. So let's take this chat. I think this is no, this is a group admin. So okay, this is the chat. So this is not a group chat. So let's send to this chat and I'm going to say hello and let's send it. Cool. The message is send. Let's take this chat ID and test it out over here to see if the message is going just one time, right? Yep. Okay. So it's working fine. So we are getting the array of all of the messages. And with this, we have successfully created all of our APIs in our backend. Of course, we have the socket IO implementation, which is going to be in our future video. But in our next video, we are going to implement this particular API, both of these APIs into our UI. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, click on the subscribe button with the bell notification turned on. And also like this video, it helps YouTube algorithm to send this video to more people who need this. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.